guys ricardo here welcome to another blog tech tips and of course today for today's tip we're focusing on whatsapp and the problem we're fixing is the issue where the issue of whatsapp messages not sending right and this is a problem where of course i will demonstrate so you go into um, whatsapp and of course once you try to send a message as you can see on my display here if i try to say test and i hit send What's happening is that you'll notice it doesn't give the single tick to indicate that it was sent. Now, of course, a single tick would mean that the system is working correctly and a message was sent out to the recipient or to the target. But as you can see here, these last three messages all show a clock, meaning that these are basically in waiting. And of course, this will not go away and they will not um, send. So guys, if this is happening to you, here are some things that you can try to fix the issue. So the first thing is, guys, just make sure you try this first. So I want you to go to settings. Once in settings, go down to um, here where you see general management. Once you're in general management, go ahead and go on to reset. And I want you to just go ahead and do reset network settings. Now, please be warned that this will not delete your data. And all it will do is reset Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other network settings to their defaults. Sometimes it's just a simple internet connection problem. And of course, by doing this, you might have to re-enter your password for your Wi-Fi and so on. But once you do that, in some cases, you can go back to WhatsApp, try sending the message again. Or for the current ones that were sent, but were in waiting, will actually send. So, of course, if you did that, guys, you should be well on your way. Now, if that didn't work, guys... Um, the next thing you can try is check your internet connection. So first of all, make sure that you're actually connected to the internet. If you're disconnected, it will not work because sometimes you can be forgetful. And of course, if you're on one network, go ahead and switch to another net network. So for example, if you are um, on your mobile data, go ahead and switch to your Wi-Fi. Or if you're on one Wi-Fi, borrow a friend's Wi-Fi and see if the problem persists. If the problem persists, guys, it could be an indication that your current connection is faulty. Um, it could be that all internet traffic is not working or probably specific to WhatsApp. So it's worth actually trying those. Now, if all of those fail, guys, the next thing I want you to do is you're going to launch um, WhatsApp. Once in WhatsApp, you're going to go ahead and go into settings. And to go to settings, you need to go back to the main page. So I'm going to go back to the main page. I'm going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to go into settings. Once in settings, guys, go down to chats. And once you're in chat, you're going to look for um, chat backup. So in chat backup, and make sure that everything is working fine, such as internet. Um, in other words, if your internet is working, you should be able to do the backup. So just go ahead and try that. So once, so once you're in here, guys, let's go ahead and hit the backup option. And of course, you can notice, depending on the speed of your internet, it should do a backup. So you notice it's doing uh, preparing Google Drive backup. And of course, it's doing this thing. And it says uploading. Um, uploading. And it shows you the size of the file. And it's taking its time to do the backup. So just allow it to do its thing. So once backups are finished, guys, you should notice that um, everything should disappear off screen. And again, you should now be able to do um the next part of the tutorial so what you're going to do next is guys go to settings once you're in settings go down or up and look for apps on here it might say applications and once you do that just go ahead once more search for whatsapp should be at the end of the list and notice right here you can see whatsapp so we're going to tap on WhatsApp and once you're here, what you want to do guys is you could uninstall completely and then install once more. But to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and go to storage and notice you have clear cache, clear data. Just go ahead and clear data. Notice so that all application data will be deleted permanently. This includes all file settings, accounts and databases. And of course, this is why we backed up earlier. So this will not affect us. So let's go ahead and hit delete. And once you delete, if you now go back to WhatsApp, you'll notice now 
that you have to go through the entire setup process once more so just go ahead guys and agree to the terms um, allow access to your contacts um, photo and media allow allow again and of course just put in your particulars i'll do this off screen now guys from this screen just make sure that it uh, will show you that you have um, backups and it will use your latest backup as you can see it says backup phone four minutes ago and shows you the size and it says restore messages media from phones internal storage if you do not restore now you won't be able to restore later so of course guys i'm just going to go ahead and restore and it's doing its thing right now and of course this will be affected by the speed of your internet so faster internet would mean faster turnaround time notice that already i'm up and ready to go so i'm going to hit next and of course it and of course as you can see you guys asking for my name so i'm just going to re-enter my name and of course hit next and the process should finish there you go guys it's actually finishing up it says initializing please wait a moment and of course it will do its thing and once it does these things everything will be restored as you can see all of my uh message just should now be working again and of course if i go back into messages you'll notice now it basically so as you can see all message has been sent and you can notice now that i can so as i said guys just notice now all message has been sent and this is indicated by a single tick so now um, whatsapp is working um, as it should and of course the system is actually finishing up the process of um, restoring stuff in the background so of course guys this has been another blog tech tips showing you how to actually fix a issue that might happen with whatsapp so if you have any questions guys just go ahead and leave a comment below this is brother from blog tech tips we're gonna set a quick tip saying until next time guys bye